Question 22. So let's fill in this additional information first of all. We're told that P is the point on OM such that OP is a quarter of OM. So if we let OP be say 1 then P to M must be 3 because then OM is 4 and OP is 1. So make sure you're okay where that 3 came from. We're also told that Q is the midpoint of ON. So that's if that's one mile, that's one mile. And R is the midpoint of PN. So if that's one mile, that's one mile. So those bits in blue. Right, we've been told that O to P is little p and O to Q is little q. So this must also be a little q as it's just um, the same length and in the same direction. And this um, vector from P to M must be 3P, as it's in the same direction as this, but three times as long. Now, for part one, we've been asked to describe in terms of P and Q going from M to N. So we're going to go this route, M to O and O to N. So M to O is minus 4P, 3P, 1P, and then plus 2Q. Now, P to R, now P to R is half of P to N, okay? But P to N is minus P plus 2Q, minus P plus 2Q, minus P plus 2Q. P R is half of this, so that's minus a half P plus Q. Now, for part B, use the vector method to prove that QR is parallel to OP. Right, well, OP we know is P. So I need to go and work out what QR is and just see that it's a multiple of P. All right, no Q's involved. So let's work out what QR is. So Q to R, I'm going to go this way. Q to O, O to P, and P to R. Always best to go away to include some earlier workings, and we've just worked out what PR is. So even though it's um, a bit it's quite long-winded, it's one, two, three vectors, better to go Q to O, O to P, and P to R than Q to N and N to R, I reckon. So that's the way I'm going to go. So Q to O is minus Q. O to P is a P. And P to R, as we've just worked out, is a minus a half P plus Q. I gather that all together. Q minus Q is nothing. P take away half of P is a half of P. And bingo. I've shown that QR is a multiple of OP. So given there are multiples of the same vector, they are therefore parallel.